Hi everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Welcome everyone to the first live lecture of um, thermodynamics. Today is my first day back at university as a second year student doing physics at Queen Mary University of London. So I thought what better way to start the year than to vlog it for you guys and today is a really 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 busy day I've got so many things that I need to do and so many classes scheduled in and also extra programs that I'm doing alongside my degree so I just thought it would be a great chance to kind of show you what my day is like and just take you through the day essentially my first class starts at 9.30 a.m. the time right now is 9.32 a.m. I am in my class but I just muted myself and muted the computer. So I hope you enjoy watching this video and if you do please give it a thumbs up so that this video can also be shared with other people and also subscribe to my channel if you want to see more student lifestyle content. So I asked you guys over on my Instagram to ask me a few questions so I could talk during time lapses and the first question is thoughts on the second lockdown and more YouTube content. So in my opinion, I think we do need to have a second lockdown and I'm not really too bothered because I'm not really planning to go out much anyway and I think online university I much prefer it to face-to-face -face university purely because I can really go at my own pace and I don't need to race to try and keep up with what the lecturer is saying and stuff so I think online uni is a lot better in that sense and for more YouTube content don't worry I've got a lot of stuff planned and I've got a lot of different types of videos that I do want to film and get out so hopefully you guys will enjoy those but of course those are in the making so I can't really tell you what they are just yet. Another question I was asked was how do you personally deal with stress and in my opinion I'm not really entirely sure how I deal with it um, I'm still trying to figure out the best ways possible but I think what I do is I just go on YouTube and watch videos but I don't really know if that helps or not but yeah I just try and do stuff to not think about my work if that kind of makes sense but then I've always got the work on my back of my mind so I do need to work on it myself so if you guys have any tips on dealing with stress and stuff feel free to leave them in the comments down below and we can all learn from each other. Another question I got was tips for balance on work and uni life. By the way love your videos. Thank you so much. Now for this question, I was actually planning on filming a whole separate video on this topic. So that video will be made soon and hopefully will be released within the next few months. So I really hope that the tips in that video will help you guys out. Another question was for help with writing a personal statement. And for this, I again was planning to film a whole separate video on this because I did get all five offers from all the universities I applied to, including three Russell Group universities, which were UCL, Queen Mary and King's College London. So I will try and get that video out as quickly as possible because I am aware that now is basically the time to apply for like universities so I will try and get that video out ASAP but that will definitely come so watch out for that one. And final question for this time lapse is do you prefer online or in-person seminars and why? So I don't have seminars but I think that's basically the same as a lecture so I prefer them being online purely because they are all recorded. So I don't know if I told you, but because everything is basically online this year, Queen Mary have pre-recorded all our lectures. So basically these are all recorded back in August. So when we have to watch our lectures, we're basically watching a pre-recorded video. And I think that is amazing because I can go at my own pace. Whereas in class, I can only go at the pace of the professor, which is very very fast. I really prefer this pre-recorded method because I can pause it whenever I want, I can replay it whenever I want, I can re-watch certain parts if I've missed a certain phrase that they've said that might be quite important and I just think it's so much better overall and I can really take the time to understand what I'm writing about which is something I couldn't do before because when it's live and you're trying to rush and write everything down, you don't really have time to understand or really think about what the professor was talking about. And also, since it's pre-recorded, there's no waffle, it's just pure content, which makes it so much faster as well to get through. And you don't have the people asking questions and then the professor stopping to answer them, but you can access those questions if you want via the forum. So it's just so much better being online. Of course, I do miss the social aspect of it because I can't really see my friends anymore and stuff like that. And you can't be in the atmosphere of the lecture theater and stuff but 
you know, we have to do what we have to do. And yeah, I'm happy with how university's working out so far. So I have this box and basically it's one of the boxes that some of my sheen clothes got shipped in. And they're actually really, really useful because I can store my books and stuff inside them. So in this one, I've got all my, basically my university books. Fast Futures is a program that I had to sign up to do. And there was a really long application process and basically we had to do this psychometric test and some people that passed the psychometric test got through to an interview and then if you pass the interview you got into the programme. So I'm going to be doing this programme this year and I'm really excited to share my opinions on it with you guys as well. And my first class with Fast Futures starts in about 10 minutes so I will take you along for that and I'm actually quite excited because it is a welcome session so I think we might have to show our faces in the Zoom call. I also just keep all my university books in here as well so I did actually make all of these books, all of them with the brown covers I have made myself and I'll be uploading a video soon on how I actually make these books if you want to know for yourself how I make them but basically I make them and I keep them in here so that I know you know which book to use for which module and they're all kept together and I did have one class before which is why there's only three books in here because the other one is on my desk but yeah I have my fast features class so I will take this book because I need it now <laughs> It's my absolute pleasure to welcome you to the first uh, Fast Features programme. After the introduction webinar was over, I decided to have lunch. So I had rice and quite a few chicken dippers and also a carrot on the side for health. This is, you know, you're here, you've been selected to be a part of this programme. After I had lunch, I had another lecture from university. And after that was finished, I had another Fast Futures zoom call type of thing and this one was actually quite interactive once we finished having all the talks and stuff we were split up into breakout rooms and there were basically like 10 people in each room i think and we had to turn our cameras on turn our mics on and have a chat about the activity that we were supposed to do and it was actually really really useful so i've been doing this program for a week now it's been a week since i started and i'm doing the voiceover quite late um and i've actually learned so much already from the program and if you do have a chance to apply for it next year or even if they're doing another application around this year i 100 percent recommend it because so far so good i'm really really impressed with the course And that concludes this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please smash a huge thumbs up and also hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any other uploads and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.